Hey everybody, uh, this is a friend of mine's Turbo Aero. Um, he asked me to take it up for a little test flight, so Andrew's with me. Um, we're just going to hop up to 14,000, fly around, and see if we can get near the tops of some of this weather and get some pretty cool footage of it. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoy. See my red line? Yep. 40, you got to be careful. This one's, you can bo over boost it. So, uh, it's because it's turbo? Because it's turbo. So, 30 inches is, is sea level pressure, right? Okay. Where do you see the manifold? Is that the, that's the turbo manifold? Yeah, so we okay. can boost it all the way to 40. Okay. You go to full power, it'll go to like 42, and the overboost light comes on. It means pull back the throttle. Gotcha. Uh, rotate at 70 knots, 81 miles an hour. VY is 96 uh, knots, 110 miles per hour. Got it. All right. About all I needed. Climb out 104, 120. Uh, 33 inches manifold pressure. This one can do 40 for... Uh, Okay, 40 and 26, see? Power limit's here, because this one's got an intercooler. Okay, well, that's all we need for now. Sticking your pouch down by your ankle. Ah! See the other one? Yeah, just stick it by the other one. Yeah, I didn't see it. Been in traffic, Aero 5623, Victor taking off 19. Okay, let me shut my door, and then we'll be ready. Not a lot of people flying today. Yeah, that's why convective stuff. Ah. Only us weirdos fly at the hottest part of the day. Alright, ready? Alright. Damn, this thing's powerful. There we go. Airspeed's alive. Yep. There's 70. Let's fly. Uh, remaining runway, if you'll hit the gear. Unsafe gear. Yep, that means it's in transit. Okay. It's crazy powerful. Yep. Get your ready to climb. That's a lot. Yep. I'll pull the power back a little. Hit the RPMs. I'm gonna get them down to about 2600. See my overboost light came on. Because remember when you pull back on the prop, what happens to your manifold pressure? It increases. It increases. So there you go. See, when you move your throttle, your throttle moves your manifold pressure. Prop moves your RPM. The next thing I'm watching is my cylinder head temps. So your EGTs are the bars. Your cylinder heads are the missing bar. See it? Not really. See that missing bar right there? Oh, okay, okay. That's my cylinder head. Number four is my hottest, but the dot's telling me that's what I'm reading. So okay. you want to keep it under about 400. 380 is a real good number, 400 is acceptable. So there's an interesting feature of this, this airplane. I'll show it to the people in the video. We call it the magic fingers, right? So, I don't know if you can see it. Look out your window kind of on the side of the plane. Not on the wing, but like, look right, like there. See that little probe? Yeah. What that does, that is a airspeed indicator, right? And if it detects we're too slow, It'll automatically start dropping the gear. So watch what happens. Trying to find the number where it does it. There it is, see? Gear came out. Yep, it came out at 70. Blech. I'm being gentle. So the way you fix it, you push right here and this will raise it, see? Get the gear unsafe, watch, it'll go away. There it is. There's 8,000. That nuts. What? I give it some even more powerful pressure look. Still climbing at 1,200 feet a minute. This high up, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, 10,000 feet already. 
That's turbos for you. What they do, they do great. That's Charlie, twin seven, coming around on me with kilo seven miles. Downwind, mid field, runway uh, one seven, Kevin Hill. Everybody's stepping on everybody today. Well, when you're up this high, you're here in Caddo Mills, Texas, and Madison, Mississippi. Okay, we'll line up to the north and come in behind you. Know what doing. Are you on a center right now? Ah, uh, this is Unicom. So, like, all over people. You know, listen to him. There's 12.5. We got 30 minutes. Of what? It took us 10 to get up here. 30 minutes on the uh, time limit. Over 12.5. Over Looks a little different in the weather, huh? Yep. So I'm guessing you wouldn't want to fly through that guy, huh? Nah, yeah, it'd be a little bumpy. Pretty up this high. Nice looking country. There's the Arcadia Airport, right over there behind the cloud. See it? Just to the right of the cloud. Eh, no. Get a little cloud. Oh, yeah. There's Arcadia. There's Rust and see Wiley Tower. Follow the highway. Just below the cloud. See the, the end of the cloud? Look just to the right of it. You'll see it, Rustin. See Rustin. I don't see Wiley Tower, though. The big white building in Rustin. Uh, I guess it's the only thing I can see in Rust. Yeah. Do a fuel tank switch for me. Just push Blue it forward to the R. Make sure D50 or Juliet 8 miles to the east inbound for uh, 1A Wood County. Just keep an eye on the fuel pressure for a few minutes. If it goes bad. Pop it back over. Easy to fix. I don't see much traffic. Here you go. There's everybody. Looking for flight. The four flight says. So Delta's ahead of us. The other guy to the right is 724 Tango Romeo. He's out there somewhere. Hear a thunderstorm warning in New York County or a neighboring county. I don't think we can outrun it. Yep. Don't think any storms are going to be coming in at 160 miles an hour. Yeah, no. Then plenty of gas, plenty of speed. See the white. This is knots. Yep. And so look. Damn, we're doing 170 knots. Damn. Yeah. It's almost, what, 200-ish? Yeah, so look. It'll be in Dallas in an hour. <laughs> I know, right? How much fuel is this burning in an hour? Was that 10? Yeah. Holy shit, that's efficient. We're in the sand, but yeah. But that's like... But 40 bucks an hour, something like that. Keep for the driving. You know, if you don't factor in the whole maintenance thing. Turbos, that's the part. Turbos are scary. And they have to be worked on, it's not cheap. Yeah, it can get bad in a hurry. But with planes with landing gears, you have to know those speeds. So you need to put the gear down under 129. That's indicated? Yeah. That's what uh, Kia's means, not indicated airspeed. So, here's your landing checklist. There's the airport. 
Been in traffic, arrow 5623 Victor's on a long left base for 19 Minden. That's the gear horn. We can't put it down yet. When you pull the manifold pressure, that's what it does. So we're gonna now slow it down, right? So, gear speed's 129. Look at your speed. 120. Yep, so you can put the gear down. Pull it out. Here you go. Put your finger on it and hold it there until you see three green. Green. Okay. Then checklist. Fuel proper tank, seat backs erect. Pass the seat belt, yep. Aux pump is off. Mixture is rich. Propeller is set. Okay. Gear down. Flaps we're gonna put in 103. Air conditioner's off, we don't have an air conditioner. Look at the legs, yeah, it's a sheet of glass. All right, first flaps. All right, rest of the flaps. I'm watching my lights, about about 80. In the traffic area, 5623 Victor is on final for 19. Full stop. A lot of crap going to Corona and Caney right now. Traffic Tiny bit. I'm doing this trimming for 80. Fly the line up with your hands. Fly the nose with your feet. Fly the speed with your push and pull. Fly the lights with your power. A little low. There it is. Get everything stabilized, it looks like that. Right at 80. Right on my lights. Three green. Yeah, both of those will always look white to me. That's a white and a red. <laughs> I, I believe you. I, I just don't see it. That's too red. All right. Here, you just fly level until it starts sinking. You just gently pull, see? Yep. Relax it. Don't the brakes. And we turn on the air conditioner. Toasty. Nice or pie? Oh yeah. Like 40 degrees? Yeah. A balmy 42. Oh yeah, it flew great. Um, did he ask me to check about the magic fingers? So, 70. That's the number we're going to tell him. Or just to watch my YouTube videos. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Comment your questions below. That's it. I respond to every single one of them. Want a taxi? I'm good. Don't expect to log this. <laughs> Plan on it. <laughs> you didn't do anything. I'm fine with that.